This is the Mohawk Hockey Talk podcast. I'm Joe Malone. We are here in the uh, coach's office at the Mason City Arena. Brad Bissig, head coach of the Mason City Mohawks, is here. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Joe. So it was two games against two different opponents this past weekend. First up, it was the Des Moines Oak Leafs here and then on the road at Waterloo. Let's start with JV. JV had a 3-1 loss and a 4 nothing loss in those games. What are some positives that you were able to pull out of that and talk to the JV squad about? Uh, Friday night, I thought we played well. Um, the game was 3-1. to one. They did get an empty net goal, so it was a 2-1 game pretty much the whole time. Our downfall that game, I think we just lacked the amount of shots we got on net. I think we didn't even end up with 10 shots on net the entire game, which is a very low amount. Uh, we want that per period. But I thought we held in the game. We still were in the game. We had a chance to win. We were still playing hard. As far as varsity goes, it was a 6-3 loss to the Oak Leafs in that game, which was not that much of a blowout for a majority of that contest, and then a 5-4 loss to Waterloo. Mohawks were in those games late until late in the game. Are you heartbroken or are you hopeful based on what you saw in those two varsity contests? A little bit of both. I mean, I'm more hopeful than heartbroken. I'm heartbroken because we were in, we were in the game. Uh, we had our chances. Uh, we did make a few mistakes in each of those games that maybe cost us some goals. But I think right up there till the end, uh, we had a chance to win the game. I think our boys thought that the entire game. I don't think our attitudes ever faltered from um, the task at winning the game. But um, like I said, a few mistakes here and there in the game that that cost you. Once we clean those up, uh, good things will happen. Now, next up for the Mohawks is a trip to Des Moines, taking on the Capitals this weekend. you got a couple more games under your belt than they do. Uh, I believe they've played four. Mohawks have played six at this point in time. So a little bit more, I'm guessing, cohesiveness team-wise. And it looks like this could be a very competitive weekend. Yeah, the, their JV team, I think, is 2-2. Two and two. Um, They haven't played as many games, that's for sure. But I think they do have a few younger guys on their JV team trying to get into the mix. Um, Their varsity team does have a few good skilled guys on forward and defense. Uh, Both their goalies are seniors, I think, but uh, are in their first year of uh, varsity experience, kind of like ours. Um, But I think if we come and play like we did last weekend and clean up some of the mistakes that we made, uh, I think good things will happen. I do expect a a very physical battle between the Capitals. It always is every time we play them. Um, but like I said, if we clean up our game a little bit and we, and we play hard the entire time, good things will happen. So what's the message been to the team this week? Because you're getting ready for a really busy stretch as we swing into the holiday season. What has been the focus that you wanted working on both on ice and off ice? Taking care of your body um, is number one um, that we talk about because you're on the ice every day. Pretty soon here we're going to have a few practices and then we're going to have another game. Then we're going to have a day off for Thanksgiving, a practice, and then a two-week, two-day stretch for more games. you got to eat, sleep, do the right things, stay hydrated. On the ice, we got to take care of what we can control. Um, That's our own attitudes, our own effort. Um, Doing it for our teammates, um, not necessarily just ourselves, um, playing together um, and working hard. On the road at the Des Moines Capitals this weekend. Uh, Wednesday, going to be on the road at Ames. What time are those games? Uh, varsity is at 6.30, and that is our, our 6 o'clock, sorry. And that is our uh, I-35 Cup that we play with them every year, the day before Thanksgiving. Um, so we will take the trophy down there with us and in hopes to bring it back with us as well. And then the JV game will start at 8 o'clock that night down in Ames. What does it mean to have uh, have the trophy in your possession, and what would it mean to keep it up here in Mason City? Uh, I've been a part of this for four years, uh, the I-35 Cup. When I played, it wasn't a thing. Um, but they started it, and, and we won the first year. The second year, we lost it, so we've only lost it one time. Um, these boys think the world of that trophy. When it, it was gone because our manager was getting the nameplates put on it, and they thought somebody came in here and stole it, and <laughs> and they were about to tear the roof off this place trying to find it, and we just let them go for a week on it. And so it, it means a lot. It's more than just a, it's a game. It's, it's for the team. It's for the people that have played in these games before them. Um, They don't want to be the one to put Ames' name on the trophy. And then uh, following Thanksgiving, it'll be a Saturday-Sunday hosting duty for the Mohawks here at the Mason City Arena against uh, Quad Cities. And, you know, if you got family coming back in town, why not bring them out to a game on either uh, Saturday afternoon or Sunday morning? Yeah, definitely we'll be back. Um, 
the boys will be ready to play. We love playing at home. We've had we've had tons of good crowds here for our home stands. I will say that whether it's students, whether it's just youth of, in our association coming out to watch, uh, I think. I mean, I don't have a total number of people, but I mean, if you come, it's packed. I mean, there's there's a lot of people around it, and it brings the excitement. and And like I said, we've been on a good stretch. We've been playing well, so it's not it's not just coming to watch a hockey game. It's coming to watch an exciting hockey game. Uh, head coach of the Mason City Mohawk Hockey Club, Brad Bissick. Thanks so much. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate. It.